How you doing everybody? DMC back with another video. Not sure what the acoustics will be like because I'm using my phone right now. But it's been time. It's time. It's time. The next gen. The next gen is here. What would do we do we Unboxing video? Just to see what this Xbox Series S is all about. Don't know if you've ever watched a, an unboxing video before, if this is your first time watching this sort of thing. I find them quite relaxing, you know, he comes out. There's one guy on YouTube, probably the main one, he comes out, he's got the glove in his hand, gets his wee katana out. <laughs> Power your dreams. Upside down, Jeff. Make sure it's in the right angle for the camera there, so the guys can see what's going on here. I've got my game bag. Man. Yeah, that's tiny, by the way. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like, that's t wow. That's a lot smaller than the Xbox One S. Are they joking? I mean, I'm not even kidding on here, guys, right? I got quite a big head, but it's not that big. There's my head for comparison, right? <laughs> There's my hand for comparison. <laughs> Hi. Wow. Let's get it out of the box, then, guy. What's this? What's this? What the fuck is this? Just showing you how to connect all the controller and all that stuff. Don't even know that nonsense. Come on, guys. I'm opening the Xbox off camera. <sighs> Again, just for reference this thing is tiny this is actually really really small it's got two usbs in the back the hdmi out well it doesn't have the hdmi in anymore for the tv thank god it's almost a bit pointless anyway you've got the storage expansion there all right and hopefully the ethernet port works on this because my xbox my one s the ethernet port was a bit dodgy uh, Oh, this is looking great. I can't believe it's like honestly, can't, I'm blown away by how small it is. Wow, yeah. Right, sure. Let's get this out of the way. Just the of that. Ooh! Do you like the look of that, guys? I really like the look of that. <laughs> we got our cables here, of course. This is where I'll ah, we'll get this out for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Standard comes with your wee Jewish cells nowadays, lovely. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's fantastic. Oh, that's lovely. Nice wee extra share button we've got there, guys. Yeah, I can't wait to be sharing my photos with Game Club. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm. Impressed with the size, I can't believe that. I genuinely can't believe it's that small. I was expecting it to be a lot bigger than that. Because I was worried about how much room it's going to take up, but no, I'm not. <laughs> Aye, so. Hey, what? Well, we'll tune in, we'll get it all set up and debuted. But that is the Xbox Series S in its full glory. Ready to rock and roll. Let's 
yeah, it's, <laughs> it's only fair that we try it out on Assassin's Creed. And I mean, look at the load times here. As soon as I press continue, I mean, the biggest difference I noticed straight away for me was the armor. Like the second you're on that loading screen, walking about, the armor was unreal. The reflections, and I don't, I don't have a 4K TV. I'm just putting that out there straight away. So for for me to notice something, aye, it is a step up. Even the flames, like the difference in the flames between that and the normal Valhalla that I was playing on the One S. Wow. Everything just runs smooth. Assassinations are nice. No, of course, Assassin's Creed being Assassin's Creed. Still a bit of a buggy mess, but an unbelievably amazing experience it was playing it on this. Genuinely brilliant. From there, moved on to 2K. Messed about with a little freestyle. Of course, it is the next gen version, so the game is different. But the smoothness of everything, the way everything loads, it's like, do you know what I mean? I clicked to open the pack, everything was responsive, it was, there was no lag, no stutters. And then the gameplay itself, yeah, like, as soon as you get into a game, like, you'll see it there as soon as I click freestyle, it does the wee splash screen and I'm in. I select my substitution, get my player and I want it's in. Um, so yeah, I was definitely blown away with this. Especially by this, f for the size of the machine, and the power it seems to be outputting, oh, for the price, you kind of grumble with that. So one last wee test, and this was a wee special one. Uh, I seen that they'd frame boosted Skyrim. I seen that they'd frame boosted Skyrim to 60 FPS, and I had to check it out. And straight away, again, load times, you click it, you're in the game. You're running about, everything's responsive, there's no stutters, there's no lag, oh. It was a beautiful experience, I'm not gonna lie, it's just, It's breathed some fresh air. And a game that I've probably already played on every single platform. <laughs> but yeah, this has been my little review of the Xbox Series S. Little unboxing, wee bit of gameplay. Hope you've enjoyed, if you have. Make sure you leave a little like, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for some more content delivered straight into your inbox. And yeah, we'll be getting some Xbox Series S gameplays up soon if my PC and my Elgato can handle it. But until then, as always, DMC.